the diet pop is making you die. People who drink more diet pop die. Coach Greg, and I'm here to talk to you about the new scare that's going on. The new studies that are saying that diet pop is going to kill us. Because I drink so much diet pop, I figured, well, I better address this. So, there's a new study. It came out and it says increased risk of stroke by 30% in people that are drinking two or more diet pops a day. Okay, wow. Oh, my God. Diet pop is for sure it's killing me because this study just showed 30% increase in risk. Now, how could that be wrong even though studies and science proves it? Well, only 5% of people drink that much pop. Those people who are drinking the two or more diet pops a day, how do we know that they're not exercising less? How do we know they're not eating more McDonald's? How do we know they're not eating more Wendy's? How do you prove it's in fact the diet pop causing this and not something else? Maybe they lay in the sun more. Maybe people who drink more diet pop lay in the sun more. Maybe they smoke more weed. Maybe they do cocaine. Maybe they inject meth. Maybe that's the, the, the cause and not actually the diet pop. So if the other 95% of people who drink less pop, maybe if they had the pop, maybe it wouldn't even affect them in that way. And baby Nakey wants to say hi. Yeah, I'm the baby Nakey. And it's not even that simple. It could be, uh, just listen to this, it's not even that simple. They did the study and they did more studies. They do every little variable. They found that if you had more than four diet pops a day that women had a greater chance of death from four than those that had the two. So maybe you're thinking, well, I better just avoid that four option. Well, they did the same study and they tested on men and men didn't experience that. So just think about how confusing that is. It can be just random luck. Maybe the women who are drinking four diet pops a day aren't drinking coffee. And maybe the people who drink coffee, maybe coffee has less death. Maybe it's helping them with their metabolisms or something. Or maybe the people who are drinking diet pops are just like, I don't know, they're more likely to avoid healthy food. Maybe they just don't like health food. Maybe they drink less vegan health ultra shakes or something crazy. So you can just see, it is so easy to get fooled by science. Fooled by studies. The studies say whatever you want them to say. And if you look at enough variables, you'll find something. Decisions, conclusions, the, the, the take home messages are observational. They're not like concrete, it has to be this. They're saying, wow, this happened and so this was the result. It does not prove cause and effect. Cause and effect is the key. It's always the key. You can't just read a study, read something, see the conclusion, and assume that this means that. A doesn't necessarily mean B. So the cause be behind these associations that they're making, it's not obvious or clear. You can't just say the diet pop is making you die. People who drink more diet pop die. People in high doses. And it'd be like, oh, is it one drink, two, three, four? I mean, they can't just decide what exactly is the amount. It could be any other factor. It could be a biological factor. People who drink four or more diet pops, maybe they're missing some kind of hormone or maybe they have some screwed up gene in their body that makes them crave sugar all the time. And that craving of sugar is, is somehow related to their horrible genetics and then that's leading to obesity. Maybe they have hypothyroidism or some other thing that's making it even harder for them to lose weight. Maybe they have more fat cells. Maybe they're more prone to be diabetic. So the people who are drinking all that drinks, it's not the drinks that are causing the, the death or the side effects. It's the fact that they're craving it. The cravings are doing it. It's some kind of a genetic uh, problem that they're, that, they're, that they're experiencing. 
Stop with the, this famous YouTube person said that this study and stop just thinking that just because some book or some article or some commercial on TV said you have to do it this way. It doesn't necessarily mean Jack. It doesn't mean Jill either. And even, I mean, just because I'm saying it doesn't mean either. Use your brain, use your own brain, do some research, figure things out. I figure stuff out by reading, analyzing, and trying to use a lot of common sense. I find this is extremely commonly, I don't know, it's extreme common sense to me. Maybe it's not to you. I feel like there's no way you could see these studies and think that they're right. So anyway, for more videos I do blooped up here, check them out and subscribe to my Instagram, Greg Doucette, IFBB Pro. We have awesome debates there and I show lots of pictures. And for coaching, check me out, gregdoucette.com. Until next time.